Hey everybody, uh, this lesson using statistical measures to compare populations. So we're going to you know, calculate the means of populations and then we're going to talk about how much um, uh, they vary uh, from the mean. Uh, and then we have this thing called the MAD, the mean uh, absolute deviation from the mean. So just how much they vary away. So here's our common core strand for awesome teachers and our question is how can we use statistical measures to compare populations? Okay. So recall, you guys, that to, to find the mean absolute deviation of a, uh, uh, what is called the MAD, the MAD, of a data set, we first find the mean of the data, then we take the absolute values of the difference uh, from the mean of each data point. So every number minus the mean, whatever the absolute value is, and then we find the mean of those absolute deviations or absolute values right there. So we add those up and divide by the number of numbers. So we're going to do that with both of these and to compare that with their, their MAD. Now their MADs on these ones, all the examples today, are going to be um, uh, reasonably close to each other. In fact, they're going to be exact with each other sometimes, you guys. But they'll be, you know, the MAD that we'll calculate should be close to the same for this lesson. And we'll talk more about why that is at the end. And if they're not, we'll talk about that also anyway. So this table shows the number of minutes per day students in a class spend exercising and, and playing videos. So what's the difference of their means and uh, multiple of the mean absolute deviations? We'll talk about that in just a second. Okay, let's do one at a time. Okay, so let's find the difference of their means and the, and the multiples of their mean absolute deviations. What we first got to do is calculate the mean number of minutes on each one. So we'll do the minutes... Um, of exercising each day. So remember the mean is we add up all those numbers and then we divide that by the number of numbers. So here there's 12 numbers so 204 divided by 12 is 17. Okay. Now uh, now we're going to find um, uh, the absolute value of the differences. So we're going to do um, uh, each number minus 17 absolute value. So here we go. So 0 minus 17 absolute value is 17. And I'm just picking these numbers right here. So the next number is going to be 7 minus 17 absolute value, and then 7 minus 17 absolute value, then 18 minus 17 absolute value, okay? So that's 10. We'll get 10 again. And then I'm just going along. 18 minus 17 is 1, the absolute value. So let's just do the rest of them right there, minus 17 absolute values we get all those numbers right there now the mad the mean absolute deviation is the average of all of those numbers okay so now we're going to find the mean of those absolute values so we'll add those up and divide it by 12 because that's the number of students in the class and so we get 9 108 divided by 12 is 9 okay now I'm going kind of fast but um, hopefully it's not fast where you don't understand it otherwise this video would take a half an hour and I'd lose your interest right away in this exciting math video. All right, so that's our MAD, our mean absolute deviation right there is, is 9, okay? So this one's going to be close to 9 also. If it wasn't, then we couldn't answer that last question. Well, we could. It would just be the difference of those two. But since um, uh, we'll get 9 again or something close to 9, okay? So, so first we've got to find the average of those numbers. So we're going to add those up and divide it by 12 again. And so 350 divided by 12 is... 29.2 so now we find the absolute value of their differences with 29.2 so it's going to be um, 13 minus 29.2 I'm just taking each one of these numbers minus the mean so so this number minus the mean this number minus the mean this number minus the mean it's all the positive differences the absolute values okay now I've already done that and I had to double check it and triple check it because I'm, I'm prone to making mistakes especially when I get tired at night time. Anyway, so I get those. Now we've got to find the average of those numbers. So let's go ahead and add those up and divide that by 12. And we're going to find that that is also close to 9. It's a little bit less than 9. It's like 8.9 and some change. So it's close to 9. Okay, so their MADs, you guys, are, are, are the same numbers or very similar to the same numbers. So let's go ahead and find now the difference of their means. Remember, we had one was 17 and one was 29.2, so their difference is 12.2. All right, so now to find, and we're going to answer the question, to find the, the means of the data, how much they differ, we divide that by the, uh, by the MAD. Remember, the MAD was 9 on both of them, so we take that, and that will tell us that uh, the mean of the two data sets, they differ by about 1.4 times 
the variability of the two data sets. Okay, so one, one varies a little bit more than the other one right there, and that's about how much they vary, okay? And I know you're thinking, what? Why are we doing that? Well, if the, if the MADs are the same, we've got to have another measurement to measure how much they, their spread is. So that's what we do that. All right, I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, we'll go through this again. Same setup, okay? Here's two test scores for student A and student B. So, so what's the difference of their means uh, as a multiple of the mean absolute deviation? Okay, so we're going to first calculate the means, okay? So student A and student B, we're going to add up the numbers and divide by, there's nine, nine uh, test scores. Okay, so when we add those up and divide by nine, I get those two means, 88 and 84. Okay, so now let's find uh, how much uh, they, they vary, so the, uh, the mean absolute deviation. So now we're going to calculate that. So uh, we take each number minus the mean. Remember, this one was uh, 88. I thought I put it up there, but I didn't. I did on another slide. This one's 88, and this one's 84. So the mean here is 84. So this number minus this number absolute value, this number minus this number absolute value, and so on. I'm going to do all of that right here. And then there's uh, uh, the other one, which is 84. So I took all of these numbers, this minus 84, this minus 84, this minus 84, all the absolute values. And then we find the average of these numbers, the 10, the 11, the 8, the 3, the 7, and so on, and find the average of those guys. So, so here we go. We're going, oh, there it is. Okay, so now find the means of these datas. And um, so we add up those numbers and divide it by 9. And notice how they're close to, well, they are the same. They're, they're 66 over 9, which they're both a 7.3, about 7.3. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the difference of their means. We're going to do 88 minus 84 and then divide it by 7.3. And that will tell us the variability. Okay, so the difference of their means is 4. So this gives the means of the two data sets. They differ by 4 divided by the mean, the mean actu um, the, the math, sorry. So I get about 0 0.55. Okay, so the means of those two data sets differ by about 0 0.5 times, uh, uh, 55 times the variability of those two data sets. All right, what does all that mean? Well, recall the MAD stands for mean absolute deviation. So to find this, we find the absolute value of the differences between each data piece and the mean. And then we average those numbers together and that would give us the, ma the mean. Okay, the mat, I'm sorry. So the term deviation is just a change or a difference from what is accepted as usual or normal right there. So not all data sets will be uh, compared, have the similar mad values. Only when the mad values are nearly the same uh, can the difference of the means of, as a multiple of the mad be calculated. All right. I hope that makes sense, you guys. And when I was growing up as a kid, there was a magazine called the Mad Magazine, and this uh, this 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 picture was on the front cover every day, so or every every issue. Anyways, take care, you guys.